Zuber. Oh man. everyone, welcome back to No Tears Frontiers Diaries. In the last episode, we were at Overland Expo East, which was such an incredible experience. It was mid-October at this point in time and heading into late October. Already the leaves were starting to turn and after the expo, we wanted to have one last incredible hurrah, adventure. Huzzah. Yes, one last and, hurrah. And I was pumped up because uh, Sterling had made a video on some of the back road discovery routes, which I was really interested in, but I do know that some of the sections got difficult. And just like in Colorado, um, you know, it's a big string that they all tie in together. But some of them, you know, it takes forewarning in advance to say, hey man, two up on an overloaded bike, you know, right. probably don't do that section. Uh, so it's really nice to talk to people who have done it, who have helped map it for that matter. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of excitement and, you know, they, they told us that we could totally do 90% of it. And on the BDR routes, there's alternate routes. Yes, for the really, really tough sections. Yeah. I mean, they've mapped this out to a T. And it's free to get the BDR maps yes. online. So it's, it's something that I highly, highly suggest. Um, and it was the nail in the coffin, if you will, of us being inspired to, to actually go out and do it. So there's a lot of excitement. Yeah. This was like a coffin of excitement. This was yeah. not a coffin of death. We were so excited to get to the Northeast BDR. Yeah. And the colors of the trees were already changing and we, you know, we were trying to hit that peak uh, yeah. color change. but. Winter, you know, as as they say in Game of Thrones, winter was was coming. And <laughs> That's so right. It was and a hurry up and get there and get the heck out of there like a Navy SEALs operation. That's right. We knew that we were on this time frame when it came to the weather and the seasons. We hadn't had a winter in a very long time, yeah. in four years, really. We hadn't had a proper winter. was going to be our first time uh, having a winter you know you're in North America yes we have winters here especially in the Northeast mm -hmm. and while we were hanging out at the expo in Virginia I feel like that was um, just the beginning of the peak of the leaves in Virginia but since we were going north from there into New York and the Northeast BDR goes all the way up to Maine to Canada really um, we knew that there was going to be this very slight window between the leaves being beautiful and yeah. just, you know, an unbelievable wonderland of color to them being all gone and it being extremely cold. And yeah, and either scenario minus the cold part, I would have, I would have enjoyed. There's some back road, you know, yeah, traversing and and riding. I, of course, I like the leaves and their beautiful colors, but you know, the skeleton leaves are also skeleton yeah, the skeleton trees. trees. It's also nice. Yeah. That's true, but it's the cold. Alrighty, brother. Peace, man. We wanted to have 
have one last bit of the Blue Ridge Parkway and just finish it off because no. it had been such a great road. So we, there was only a little bit left, but we did that. It ends in Afton. And again, it was beautiful. Yeah, I know we'll be doing that again and yeah, you know, in a time frame where we have a little bit more time to enjoy it and you know go down all the little side trails that that poke out of her. So yeah. Highly recommended road for two wheels, four wheels, you know, three wheels. Whatever Absolutely. You mean, yeah. I mean, it's just a perfect road for riding and for viewing nature and history and the Appalachian Mountains. And we stayed the night in Stanton because we were very tired and we really, really needed a shower. And so we had a hotel there. But the next leg of our journey was going to be going through the state of Pennsylvania, which is a big state. Yeah. And um, it's full of towns and highways and it's Cities very, and... yeah, very densely populated. And we had a friend in Philadelphia that we wanted to visit and stay with. And also that would give us a day's break from, you know, we'd been at the expo, we'd been on the road for days, we'd gone through all sorts of weather. Um, just and continuously on the move sometimes, you know, the Energizer Bunny starts to slow down a little bit, you know. Yeah, we But we were that. also in a hurry to try to beat, you know, the, the, the worst of the weather that was surely to come because the exactly. Northeast is, is known for getting bitter cold. Yes, that's right. But on our way to Philadelphia, we hit the traffic that the East Coast is famous for. Um, and it was a challenge. Um, yeah. it, 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 the traffic itself didn't help us recharge our Energizer Bunny batteries, um, but the stay in Philadelphia did. It's a beautiful city. Afterwards, we really just booked it all the way as fast as we possibly could to the start of the Northeast BDR yeah. on the border with New York State. Mm -hmm. And Pennsylvania and, is beautiful. Yeah.
And we use uh, iOverlander, which is uh, an app that I suggest everybody download. It's, it's, it's free to use and it's, you know, it's open sourced for, you know, any traveler to, yes. to use. Um, it's great. But like in the winter, well, you know, it's mid-October, a lot of the campgrounds have shut down for the season. Yeah. And so they, you know, there's a bunch of RV parks out there, but a lot, you know, like they don't have, they don't necessarily target like tent campers on a motorcycle. Right. Um, but we got lucky and the woman was really confused. She was like, what size is your vehicle? And I said, a motorcycle. And she was like, well, <laughs> we don't really have a space for a motorcycle. And I said, how do you have a space for an RV? <laughs> But not space for a motorcycle. She said, well, I guess I can give you a little plot of land on the picnic area. And I said, sure, how much is that? And, of course, it was the same amount as if yes. an RV spot <laughs> with hookup. But, long but whatever. Right, you know. Yeah. I like it. We got in, it was on a, a river and it was really beautiful. It was really pretty. So um, this was right near the start of the Northeast BDR, which is in Hancock, New York. And um, this is called Pinecrest Campground. And yeah, she said, you know, we're normally an RV park, but you're welcome to come and stay on yeah. the picnic lawn, which was nice. It was nice. And the, the, the godsend of it was that there was like 19, 20 cats just meandering around <laughs> yes. and little kittens that popped up. Yeah, and... there were kittens. Yeah. Oh, snarls. Yeah. Yeah, you get to what I'm doing. Maybe it's a he, maybe it's a she, who knows, huh? Who cares? So that's always uh, a extra star in my review. Absolutely. And we had a nice little picnic on the river's edge. We went down to the river, sat on a dock, and um, it was pretty. You could see the leaves changing. You could just see the sunset over the river. And it was the little bit of peace of mind that we had been searching for yeah. um, before we started this Northeast BDR. And, and I just knew what was to come was going to be was going to be good. So the expo was awesome, and this, yes. this trek across you know Pennsylvania was not you know my my favorite. No, it's, it's beautiful, and I'm not saying don't go because we we were in a bit of a, 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 a hurry rush. and a That's rush. That's right. So we had to take the main roads, yeah. which I feel like is not the best way to see yeah. a state ever. Um, and especially these roads that were full of traffic, it was not the most pleasant way of getting around. But you could see that Pennsylvania is a gorgeous state. They have the um, Amish communities there. They have just these rolling farms. Uh, these beautiful, beautiful barns that's been that have been put up in silos on the side of the road. Uh, you get that sense of history there. We really wanted to explore it more, but more than that, we really wanted to get to the Northeast yeah. BDR and get that started. So we were excited, but in all honesty, I was a little bit nervous too, because I knew that there were going to be some tough sections. We had all the gear with us that we traveled the world with, um, that we had been living with this whole summer, this whole journey across the United States, everything that we would need. So it equates to a bit of weight and we're two up on the motorcycle. The motorcycle itself is quite heavy. You know, when you're talking about technical terrain, um, yeah, but to be fair, um, you know, and you get, you know, nervous isn't uh, an awful thing to to be when there's some challenging yeah. stuff. But we've done crazy stupid yeah. stuff. Yeah. So like my like, and things that we've tried to conquer. I don't know if we've hit anything where we said screw this, let's turn around. You know, we've always slowly climbed our way right. over. Let it be. There have been times when the road completely just disintegrates. It's disappeared. And there's no more roads, yeah. so you do have to turn around. But you're right. We are pretty um, 
gung ho for whatever yeah. we come across. That's it's true. always nice when you're with good company, like you know, the yes. adventure hacks or yes. you know, and, and they can help you egg you on sometimes yeah. i Moral think i would support. have been more reluctant otherwise but yeah we have that experience behind us and so yeah. we were feeling very confident but i was i was slightly nervous and the <laughs> you know the bike had been giving us issues and so right you know just we, we were riding into no man's land so that yeah. was what was on my mind but the the excitement was was what was fueling the bike you know the gasoline was just a just a substitute because that's right it was yeah. it was yeah it was a lot of excitement going on for the northeast bdr so that's what we are going to be covering in the next episode i hope you liked this one if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below with the notification bell ding, ding. so that you will get alerted to the next episode in which we have all sorts of adventures. I don't even want to get into dun, it. Dun, uh, um, but and big thank you to all of our yes. uh, Patreon contributors. It's just too much to, you know, it blows our mind that people mm -hmm. are, are, you know, willing to help, help two vagabonds in the <laughs> the world. Thanks to all of you for watching this and I hope to be seeing you next time. Peace, everybody. Bye. Bye. You did. Bye. Mm -hmm.